Hello Pisces, welcome to your love reading for August 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on link tree below to contact me or text me 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write the truth through wisdom, clarity, and insight for Pisces for love for August 2024. What do you see? What do they need to know? To reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse for energies prior to August. Click on the Vimeo link below for your Vimeo reading this month, month, which will be your career, your finances, and your health. And for August, we have the Four of Dragonflies in the reverse. And in my playlist, your 2025 Sun Moon readings, put your requests in the comments. I will put you in queue. 2024s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or someone that you know. And we have the Sun card in the upright as you move out of August into September. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in supporting my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated. Let's get your reading, Pisces. So the Ten of Wands in reverse energies prior to August. I'm getting the sense that you decided to release somebody or release a relationship. I feel as though you didn't care for the obligations or what was required of you, or maybe you just couldn't, um, you know, fulfill the duties that was required of the relationship. Uh, you don't want to feel, um, you know, tied to that person anymore. And it could have been a situation where being in a relationship with this person was very exhausting, very burdening. Um, you know, they expected a lot out of you. And as a result, you just started getting very burned out, stressed out, and um, just decided to kind of put down that big old bundle of sticks that you were carrying around um, that was associated with the relationship or the personal connection. Keep in mind, love doesn't always have to be romantic. Sometimes it can be anybody we have a love for. Now, in August, with the four of dragonflies in reverse, um, I feel as though once you have released this person, I feel as though you're very open to offers coming in. So I see you considering um, almost, you know, everybody that's coming in, making an offer, kind of checking them out realizing that there's a lot of opportunities that are out there. And while you were in a relationship or connection with this person, what was happening was the world was passing you by. There were a lot of opportunities that were kind of slipping past you or not coming to you as a result. This is also a card of you deciding to, you know, um, choose happiness over, over um, you know, being, um, I'm going to say be responsible for somebody else, but, you know, um, taking care of somebody else. So it's more uh, an awareness of yourself and, and what you need to do for yourself and what you need to do to take care of yourself. And I think you're happier outside of this. So you want to explore some, some other things that are out there and see what's going on. And again, I feel like this reading does not have to be a rom about romantic love. Maybe you're making new friendships. Maybe you're connecting with colleagues and networking a little bit more. Things like that that are going to emotionally fulfill you during the period of August. And in August going to September with the Sun card in the upright, this plan seems to be working really brilliantly because the Sun card in the upright is about happiness and success and um, things warm and, you know, radiating this absolute glow and very being very pleased with your life and very joyous. So, um, it seems like things couldn't get better August and September. And I think it's because of the decision that you made back here. I almost feel like back here, you're being weighed down, taken advantage of, and you decided I had enough. I'm going to move forward differently. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Why is the Ten of Moss here in reverse for Pisces? Energies prior to August. Who's this person? Well, what's this energy? Okay, we have the Death card in reverse, which is the card of Scorpio. Yeah, you you made the decision that you're, you're or making the decision that you stayed in that connection um, way longer than you needed to. To. It really wasn't doing anything for you. Um, it feels like you were doing most of the work, I feel. And and nothing was becoming of that. Nothing was growing from that. Um, there wasn't any progress. There wasn't um, another plateau that you wanted to go into with this person or even foresaw that happening. With the Knight of Swords in reverse, I'm saying this person was really good at talking about a lot of things, but not really doing anything. So maybe they made you a lot of promises or said they're going to clean up around the house or that they're going to change. But when you sat and you kind of waited on that, you realized it was just words. They had no intention of doing that. Or maybe they, they did. And then it kind of fell through also a very chaotic energy too and it seems as though with the wheel of fortune in reverse that things were good at one time but then all of a sudden they turned for the worse and it was because of this person and their actions and you kind of felt um you know um 
big victim to this person or at their mercy because of their actions and you didn't like having that kind of control over you um, because because of somebody how they were um, being so for instance in your cases you guys are very sensitive to outward emotions or um, stress or things like that and you know if this person was behaving a certain way emotionally or they would be really erratic that was going to affect your energies and really kind of mix you up and throw off your balance so it's good that you kind of came to the realization that this this whatever this was was affecting you negatively um why is the four of dragonflies here in the upright who's this person what's this energy Let's see if this is romantic i'm thinking i almost feel like it's not i feel like it's maybe the sun card in the reverse we have the knight of cups and maybe it is romantic all righty so i see with the sun card in reversed um kind of saying to yourself this is still affecting you as you go into august i don't i feel as though you wish that things could have ended better or things could have been different i mean who doesn't kind of wish that right um but with you guys it really is and like kind of like this dark cloud following you around and you're really trying to you know stay positive keep your chin up stay optimistic about things and like i said you're open to offers and here comes an offer rolling in with the knight of cups in the upright knight of cups in the upright symbolizes the the romeo of all the cars the guy that or, or the person i'm sorry that just sweeps you off your feet you know takes you away on some romantic escape picnic in the park you have an emotional connection with this person you're absolutely over the moon the thing about the knight of cups in the upright he usually does not tend to um tend to be a long-term person um he's all about it and then he he will move on or maybe the two of you will move on it's not intended to be you know a forever person but the thing is you should enjoy it while you're with them because they really are going to um <clears throat> open you up to a lot of things emotionally and and it's going to be a really pleasant experience so i see you being open to this person or these people that are coming in in, in august and it's very helpful for you with the temperance card in the upright which is a card of Sagittarius because this is allowing you to restore balance back to your life that was no longer there you feel at peace you feel as though you've you've carved a little space for yourself and and you're very um being very in the present very mindful and and really having a positive outlook instead of um you know negative things kind of guiding you all you see is positivity now so as soon as you kind of break out of this i think things are significantly going to get better um progressively so why is the sun card here in the upright for Pisces as they move out of August and September? Who's this person? What's this energy? <clears throat> we have the king of wands in the reverse. Additional messages, please. Okay. So this person's not happy that you're happy. August going to September, they may let it be known. They may be demonstrative about it. Um, I'm seeing a lot of things that, um, for instance, with the King of Wands in reverse, they may try to exercise some sort of control over you or try to, you know, get you back, but do it in a very dominating way. Um, a very bullying kind of way and they see things the way they see them there's no communicating with them otherwise i'm seeing that it's making you very paranoid it has you on edge you're walking on eggshells you're you're wondering when they're going to pop up or it so it could be a little bit of a stalker syndrome or just somebody you really don't care for their energies and then they always seem to be around you and the page of pentacles are reversed to me is the 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 kind of like this aura, not aura, but this feeling that I'm getting from this person, kind of like sour grapes mentality, very arrogant, very haughty, like, oh, well, I didn't want you anyway, or, oh, you weren't good enough for me, or I feel like they're going to make comments like this to kind of cut you down because misery likes company. So um, I, I just know that they're not happy that you moved on and they're not happy that you're happy and they're not happy that uh, you aren't even really giving it a second thought or have any reason to return back to them. So they might be a little bit, um, a little bit nasty about that. Um, so just make sure you um, don't allow that, have your boundaries up and uh, you got to call police, call police. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just saying a lot of times people just, um, it bothers me when they say, oh, no, they're not going to do anything or anything like that. I mean, you really sometimes you have to put your foot down. And I know with you all, 
you do have a tendency to give people a lot of chances and people take advantage of those chances. So I don't want you to be put in some sort of position where it ends up and not exercising your legal rights. Okay. So that's what I have for you all. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at uh, 646-9025-715. Otherwise, click on the video link below for this week's Vimeo reading, which will be your career, your finances, and your health specifically. Um, in my playlist, your 2025 Sun Moon readings. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2024s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend in support of my efforts. Otherwise, Pisces, I will see you in your Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.